What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Handlebar Adventures. Or if you're new to the channel, welcome to Handlebar Adventures. Today, Brian and I are here at Frederick, the watershed, the shed. And today is one of our favorites. Oh yeah, let's get to it. Climbing up Huggy Bear. Should take us down into lawnmower. So far, kind of a double track, rocky climb. Loving the big bikes. Coming off the XC bikes, doing some training. Getting our fitness up for some <laughs> local short track cross country races. Now it's time for big bikes. Just turned on lawnmower. Head down and see what this is about. Man, this big bike feels so good compared to the XC bike. like a freight train coming down the trail. So far, a little pedally. Find the flow in it. Nice. Thank you. Have a great day. Plenty of people out hiking, enjoying the nice weather today. Be mindful. I'm able to check out the map. Oh, that's sweet. Head down our first feature. Seen it coming. Stopped, checked it out. Now we're gonna come down. Beautiful, nice and smooth. Let's check out Chris coming down it. All right, so we just finished up lawn mower. A little warm up run. We're climbing up Stoner, Stoner Road. Stoner Road. And then uh, we're gonna go down Kublai Khan. See you at Kublai Super excited. It's one of the biggest trail names here at the shed. A classic. Can roll it, he said. It's got it. Spot the line, enter. Yeah, Hell yeah. A lot of fun so far. We recently just had a Shaduro race here. Man, I'd like a lot of practice laps before I just blitz down this. Pretty good line there. Little dragon's back action. Nice. Good bike work. Yeah, there is something about riding something blind. I mean, obviously taking your time, but the excitement that comes out of it is just 
raw and just that's oh, unreal. Don't go that way. Okay, don't go that way, he says. I am. Because I got a big feature here. Check it out. So we're just scoping out some line choices here. You have the we'll call it AA line, which takes you over this boulder here, drops you onto this next one. It's kind of like a step. And then you go down these rocks, placed in sort of a ramp right here, through the trees, right past where Brian's standing, to the landing, over the boulder, and out. Next line, we'll call this the, the main line, straight down. It's a nice slab, and it's got a good crown to it. I don't know if you pick that up on camera or not, but you wanna make sure you kind of stay in the middle and then don't hit the stump as you exit. And then the sea line, you can come around the outside, down these rocks here. Call me the Pillsbury Doughboy, baby, cause I'm rolling it. Coming up. This side? Yeah. Coming in. Junkie. That's awesome. Continue on Kubla. Can you dig it? <laughs> Let's get it. Yeah, corny. If your brakes aren't squealing, are you really riding? Nice. With my left foot forward. Hell yeah, Chris. I'm not ready for that. If anybody's used to just riding with one foot forward, you know how awkward that is to go with the wrong foot forward off a feature. With the wrong foot which, forward. which could be a good thing to practice. <laughs> yeah, I did a little half pedal and just kind of sent it backwards for the hips. Fire away. Go wrong gear, wrong gear. You know what I just heard? Excuses. Try to take the high line there, that didn't work. Woo! Let's hit her again. Take her easy, and if she's easy, take her twice. Low line. High line. Low line. Oh. <laughs> yep, love that. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, kinda. Very smooth. We're using 372 while the shed is awesome. You got features like this. Not many local places have this. If they do, let's hear about it because I want to ride them. Let's go, Chris. Coming in. Excellent. a hard gear. 
It rolls. That was a sweet section. I buzzed my ass with the tire <laughs> going between the boulders. I seen you drop down real far, so I was like, ooh, I'm gonna go left a little bit and roll it. Yeah, it was like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Man, somebody needs to clean their brakes. Yep. Drop to the right, roll to the left. Roll to the left. Looks like it gets, it's just skinny. Oh, big roll in drop here. Bit of a harsh run out. So this is the go around way of this feature that we're looking at right now. Um, kind of just snakes around. There's one boulder right here you have to roll, and it's pretty rough entrance. Um, it just takes you around the main line, which is right here. So we'll go take a look at the main line. All right, so this is the main line. Let's like climb up this. Come through this uh, skinny section here, and then you want to take this inside corner. We can see these tracks are. And you want to straight it, straight line it, Basically straight down this fall line or these couple of rock ledges. You want to come down right here in this gateway. Oh yeah, right there. Right there. And uh, just try not to hit these trees and such. And you're going to be cooking once you get down to the bottom. That run out is, uh, is rough. We opted for the B line. Just didn't feel 100% confident quite yet. Uh, getting, you know, just getting back on the big bikes. Coming up with excuses to just, you know, not feel it right now. Loose start, Chris. Yeah, I sneaked the inside there. Really didn't even touch that boulder. Took me a while to get clipped in. <laughs> I seen that, dude. It looked sketchy. <laughs> I was like, man, I was good, he went over that boulder unclipped. He sure did. Yep. Yep. Okay. One footed. <laughs> Great. See, now this is going. I'm going to give him space. Hey, I think we might be down the bottom. They're open up. Hey, it's the first time I've had this big bike with some kind of fast tactical. Oh, she goes. Kubla Khan, man. So we're sitting here about to climb up three stalls. We just came down Kubla Khan. Thoughts? Kubla Khan's awesome. A lot of really cool, slow, technical features, rolls, drops, things like that. I would say definitely don't expect your first time down it to just be able to ride everything blind. There's a lot of features that you can't quite see over the edge. You're not really sure what's coming. Um, I mean, you could certainly try to do it, but it got us in trouble a couple of times where we had to, you know, slow pedal and do like a wheelie drop off some boulders and things like that. So I would definitely advise taking a look at things first if you're unsure what's behind it, because it might just not be a roll, it might just be a drop. So definitely look at things first, but trail's awesome. Definitely highly recommend doing it. So our first lap climbing up three saws. It is kind of a designated climbing trail. See some people descend it, but it's mainly used to head back up. We have crusted, crusted three saws up top in the open area. Just takes us right into boundary line. Glad I had the glass. It's actually a little dusty. Got it. Kind of nice. 
nice following. You gotta see what Chris is doing before I do it. See how the speed is. Kind of a rough flow line, reminds me of West Virginia. Ooh, did not see that coming. Awesome hip. Rock step down was awesome. Yes, have a good one. Yep, that's the one I was talking about. That oh, was a fun floaty turn. Oh yeah, hammering dude. Oh, piece of cake actually, not bad at all. That's actually pretty good. I like that. You up there? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. It's we hot. we just finished boundary line. It's hot. We're climbing up three saws, taking a little break, and we just figured we'd weigh in on what we thought of boundary line our first time down that trail in at least a couple of years. Yeah, it's probably been two years, maybe two and a half. So, the yeah. trail is awesome. It, I mean, it's, it's so much faster than a trail like Kubla Khan. You're just like max speed the whole way down. Lots of berms, doubles, a couple step downs. And then the end is a pretty rocky, um, like relatively steep line. Takes you like right to the end of the trail. It was really fun. Me like it. <laughs> so anyways, boundary line definitely gets you down the hill a lot faster. Um, so it feels like you're just kind of doing a real quick down and then you're pedaling back up. Or Kublai Khan uh, takes a lot longer to get down, so you feel like it's a little bit more value for your climbing. But both were awesome, very different. Just climbed up to the top of three saws. We're about to head down the nose. the nose. It takes you about halfway down three saws, and then we'll climb back up to this exact spot again. Let's rip it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. We haven't done this one yet. Shoot the gap. I like that. Pretty loamy here. A lot of traction. That one's a little gravelly, a little loose. Takes the right, I'll take the left. Off, we're going there. Pick your line. Oh, 
Ah, oh, this is awesome. Can't see with my contacts right now. We're on the trail blind and actually blind. Oh, contact's about falling out. Ah. Back up. We're back on three saws. That was fun. That was awesome. That was a sick little rip. A lot of flow. That is the most tech flow we've had all day. Yeah, that was true tech flow. That was good. Just let off the brakes and the janky rocks and just let her buck. That loam was really neat. Yeah, the loam was awesome. Don't get that a lot. A little brown pal. Pretty new trail. They must, must have redone it for the shed duro. I had a little hip at the end and a couple little, uh, Smaller boulders and stuff you can yes, gap over. Yes, side hits on features on it. Yeah, that one was awesome. Nothing crazy. That trail is much more intuitive to ride the boundary line. You could kind of see everything as it was coming up. It's a lot better to ride blind for your first time than a trail like boundary line is. Woo! Back up three cells. Yes, sir. Made it to the top. Nice and peaceful up here in the pines. If you know Childers, you'll get that little, little twang there. I can see it. I can see the truck through the pines, Chris. If you're shed curious, the link to our ride today, it's in the description. Check it out. This, my friends, is a PEB. Performance Enhancing Beverage. <sighs> That's gonna wrap up today's ride. We hope you uh, enjoyed today's route. Hopefully it helps you out if you're riding the Frederick area. All right, if you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate it. it. Helps the channel grow and reach a larger audience. We want more people out mountain biking. So this is how we're trying to do it. Having fun on bikes. That's right. See you guys out here. See ya.